If you watch just one video about how to think in English, it should be this one. So many of you are still translating from your native language into English and it's not helping your fluency. So whether you call them tricks, hacks, strategies, advice or ideas, this is the video where we're going to talk about how to really think in English and some of the lesser known ways to truly be able to do that. See, the truth is that the reason why you're not thinking in English yet is because of the way you think in general. See, thinking in English to me means that you're truly fluent. You've internalized the language. What does it mean to you? Tell me in the comments what it means to be able to think in English. Here at Go Natural English, I'm going to show you how to use your mind intelligently to be able to think in English faster. So clear your mind of the things that you know in your native language because your first reaction is to translate because you already know your native language. But instead of thinking first of all the vocabulary you already know in your language, try to clear your mind as if you were a small child learning a language for the first time. Now there are some advantages to knowing your native language already, but to think in English, you really have to clear your mind, erase what you know, and start learning about the world through English primarily. Learn the English language through meaning educated guesses and not translating. For example, I was in Brazil learning Portuguese and I went out to a nightclub and someone asked me, quer dançar? And so I made an educated guess that quer dançar means do you want to dance? Because in that situation it made perfect sense. And I was right. And 99% of the time you will be right if you make a similar educated guess. So try to learn through the meaning, the situation. I didn't have to pull out my dictionary to translate que dansa into do you want to dance. Try listening to talk radio stations in English uh, on the internet if you're not living in the United States or an English speaking country. Try listening to the radio even if you don't know what these DJs are talking about. The talk radio programs will help your ear and your brain to start thinking in English because your brain is smart. You're smart. Your brain recognizes patterns. So for fun, yesterday I was listening to a Norwegian internet radio station and within one minute I was already understanding that ya ja meant yes because I could recognize the conversation patterns. One person would talk and the other would say, yeah, yeah. So I learned how to say yes in Norwegian without consulting a dictionary. So this is a very simple basic example, but the point is that the more you immerse yourself in the English language directly without translating, your brain will start to pick up patterns because you're smart. Consuming any content in English will really help your brain to pick out the patterns in English, to really start thinking in English as if it were your native tongue. So what you want to do is actually try less. Stop translating. Stop pulling out your dictionary to check words. Simply immerse yourself in the language. Maybe find a Netflix program or Hulu or Pluto TV or whatever you use for your TV service. I prefer shorter kind of real life programs, even reality TV shows, because those are shorter, easier to, to digest and give you really conversational English to pick up on. So let your brain do its job that it naturally does, really picking apart the language and recognizing patterns and do less, try less <laughs> and your brain will naturally do its job. It's okay at first to use subtitles if you don't understand what's going on in English, but try to also listen to the language as you hear it. 
Sometimes just to brush up on my Japanese, I love watching The Terrace House on Netflix because I get to listen to how real people are using Japanese in a conversational way. So while not all reality TV is,、um, let's say, healthy for us to watch, it can really help you to think in English. Do you have a favorite reality TV show in English? Maybe you could suggest it in the comments here if other people want to try watching. But the key here is if you're using subtitles, make sure to still listen for what you hear and how people are using. Words and phrases in English, and then try to repeat and memorize some of those phrases that you could use yourself without translating. When I was invited to give my TEDx presentation in Portugal, in Portuguese, I was terrified. I had never given a presentation in another language like that in front of hundreds of Portuguese people. So I really didn't have room to mess up or for them not to understand me. So here's what I did to prepare. Of course, I practiced Portuguese, but I envisioned, I had a vision of myself. I envisioned the day as a very successful day. I envisioned myself. Speaking Portuguese fluently, giving an amazing presentation. And that's what you need to do for yourself in English, whether it's giving a presentation or having a fluent conversation, thinking in English, dreaming in English, negotiating, whatever it is that you want to do in English. Imagine yourself. I want you to envision yourself using English so powerfully, so fluently. And it's that vision that will give you confidence and motivation to continue practicing, learning, and improving until you actually reach that point. Do less. Think in terms of learning one new thing or using one new phrase in English every day. Little steps. Make up a journey of thousands of miles. I think Lao Tzu said that. And it's true for English fluency and thinking in English as well. So many of us get overwhelmed thinking, I'm not fluent yet. I want to be all the way over here. I want to be so fluent and I'm just not there. And it's very overwhelming because I need to learn like a million new words and phrases before I can ever be fluent or think in English. Thinking this way is harmful because you start to feel bad about yourself and you get overwhelmed and stressed out, and all of a sudden you're tired without any motivation or energy to actually practice and improve. So, do less, my friends. Think in simple terms of just adding one thing to your English each day. And in fact, by watching this one video, I would say that you've done a lot to improve your English today. So, thanks for watching Go Natural English. And make sure to subscribe because next week I'm going to share a video, a video with you where you can test your skills to see if you can actually think in English. Test your skills to see if you're really fluent or not. So, I'll see you then. Bye for now.